hey girls welcome back to the channel for another video this week if you're new to my channel welcome 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 if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back and clicking on my face and if you haven't already stopped what you're doing press the subscribe button go over follow me on instagram at jeronica micea and i've never introduced myself but yeah i'm jeronica micea but all my friends call me g so now that you guys are here subscribed and following and all that good stuff we're friends so you can call me g and yes you come back each week for new uploads and let's get into this video okay so before we get into this video i just have to say this because sometimes we all need like a little motivation sometimes we just feel like really down or we're being like way too hard on ourselves but i just wanted to say whether you want to start a business you want to move to another city you want to work on yourself you want to change your weight whatever it is that you want to do in your life stop waiting for the perfect time there's no such thing as the perfect time today right now in this moment is the only moment that you're truly promised so right now is the perfect time and whatever it is that you want to do when you start doing that make sure you are being so consistent like keep doing it whether people believe in you whether they support you whether they acknowledge you keep doing what it is that you want to do especially if you pray for something and god start guiding you and giving you confirmation that you are exactly where you're supposed to be don't worry about who supports you whether it's your mama sister brother cousin boyfriend whatever don't worry about what nobody has to say girl keep doing what you're doing and another thing keep your vision focus don't look to the side to see what nobody else is doing let them girls lace all of their fronts honey that's none of your business keep your eyes on the prize which is your goal and keep going forward because the moment you start comparing yourself to somebody else you've already lost never compare yourself to nobody that's their journey you are on your journey and you're trying to get to where you're supposed to be so whatever it is that you want to do start today be consistent and just focus on yourself and you'll make it girl we're all gonna make it okay so today we're talking all things skincare and y'all i have used probably everything that's out there from the most expensive to like the least expensive from things you can buy from Saks and neiman's all the way down to things i can buy from cvs or walgreens and these the products that i'm going to show you today are the products that have been working amazing when it comes to me my skin and my skin I have normal skin I wouldn't say oily but if I have a little oil in my t-zone I don't mind because usually I like the dewy glowy look but overall I don't have bad skin but I used to have very dry skin and by me being a woman of color I do have um, hyperpigmentation like around my mouth or around my forehead is like some discoloration so these products they have just been like helping me throughout the years and I've actually seen my skin improve some of these products are older that I've been using for like years and some are new that i just started using a couple months but these are the products that i use daily and some throughout the week because when it comes to face masks i love a face mask i do a face mask every single day seven days a week i'm probably going to do 10 face masks like i do face masks every day it's like drinking my green tea at this point it's a it's a routine it's a habit i love it so yes these are the products that i use if you are interested let's do it so i'm literally about to sit up here and talk to y'all about skincare while i am over here with a full beat on and double lashes like girl okay so first i'm going to show you guys the cleansers that i'm currently using i've been using these for a while now i don't plan on changing them out because they just like work perfect i hate cleansers when you wash your face and your face get really really tight and dry these two i don't have that problem at all and don't forget what works for me may not work for you so you can try these i'm not saying you have to buy them i'm just giving you girls the tea because i get so many questions on what products i'm using so let's get into it the first cleanser that i use is the biore deep pore charcoal cleanser and y'all this stuff is amazing i used to have like these really enlarged pores in my um t-zone and i've been using this for about 
a year in a year or two and I don't have that problem at all this stuff is amazing I usually use it in the morning in the shower or at night in the shower I just found when I use it in the shower it just give like this tingling cleansing feeling and once I'm done especially a day when I've had on like a lot of makeup I always go for this because it just like strip everything away without stripping away the oils and the second thing that I use is the Aveeno clear complexion daily cleansing pads now these pads it has two sides one side is smooth and the other side is for like exfoliating so it's kind of rough but not too rough that it's like just killing you it said that these pads they exfoliate and they polish these retail for seven dollars so that's like so affordable and it's 28 pads they last me a while i use these I want to say at night I usually try to use this one in the morning and this one at night I know a lot of people like to stick with the same thing but by me I guess keep using these products I don't have breakouts or anything so I use these and let me show you how to pads they you don't have to wet them or anything they come pre moist and they make their own like suds and about this big they're big enough to keep circular motion on the face and y'all these pads are amazing when i tell y'all y'all know how y'all have the moments when your skin get really dull and like i told you i have hyperpigmentation around my mouth so sometimes my skin just need like an extra boost and sometimes i don't want to exfoliate through um throughout the week like a lot of times i try to exfoliate at least twice so when i use these pads my complexion just get like super bright it just look like this glowing look i love these pads and yes and now i'm starting to say girl hold on the girls must be liking these pads because when i first started buying these i could find them anywhere now it's been hard for me to find these pads ever since COVID happened so hopefully I'm gonna just blame it on COVID I'm not gonna go blame it on the girls okay so once I've cleansed my face the next step I will move into picking a face mask now the way I chose a face mask like I said I do a face mask every day so the way I choose a face mask is basically depends on what my skin needs that day maybe my skin is dehydrated and I need to like put on a hydrating mask or I need to exfoliate or I need to brighten it all depends on what I'm going for whatever my skin needs that day that's how I pick it out and right now I'm switching between Kills and Peter Thomas Roth those are the two brands when it comes to face masks that are I would say affordable and they work y'all like it's time for me to exfoliate my favorite exfoliation mask would be the Peter Thomas Roth um, pumpkin mask y'all this mask is amazing it read this jar right here retails for sixty dollars i believe they have a smaller size the smaller size will come in like this and i'm not sure how much this one is but i know this one is 60 and look at this um this one is five fluid ounces and the small would be 1.7 fluid ounces so i was going through these little small things like it was a waste of my money so I just went ahead and got the large one for 60 first of all you exfoliate with this circular motion add like a little water and leave it on for I leave it on for about 7 to 15 minutes and y'all this is like amazing when my go-to combo when i just want my skin to be popping i will exfoliate with this one and i go to the peter thomas roth the irish mud mask these two right here are my all-time favorite combo so let's say when i just know i don't want i'm not gonna wear makeup that week or i know i'm just i just want my skin to be popping these are the two i go for, go for i exfoliate seven to um i don't exfoliate for seven to um 15 minutes i basically exfoliate for about a couple seconds 45 seconds or whatever leave it on for seven to 15 minutes then after that i'll put this one on and leave it on for about 20 minutes i know that's way longer than they recommend i think they both recommend seven and maybe five or ten but i always leave my mask on a little longer so these two right here all-time favorite combo like if you can get your hand on these two try my friend he just purchased this one and he's in love this irish mud mask baby it just give you first of all it literally deep cleanse on a level i have never seen any mask do before and basically when i take it off your skin is just so bright and radiant i'm like oh my god and even with this one i it's time for me to purchase another one 
I've been using the, the small one. I can't lie, y'all. With these masks, a little do go a long way. So the small one been lasting me a while, maybe a year. I've been having this small thing. And but i'm ready to get a larger one it's time to get a large one. if this one can last me a year i know the large is gonna last me a very long time because this i want to say i bought the um the exfoliator maybe last year so it's like it's worth the money even though it's 60 dollars, it's so worth the money and favorite combo now on the days when my skin is just super dehydrated and i'm needing like a boost of energy like my moisturizer is just not cutting it I need like a little extra I'm gonna definitely go for my kills avocado nourishing hydration mask first of all this formula I saw a lot of people saying how they didn't like it it just didn't work for them it's because you have to use the palms of your fingers to warm it and like melt the product and then apply it this hold on let me show y'all if y'all can see it it has like this avocado it looked like avocado look at that so a lot of people say it just doesn't if you don't let it melt on your fingers the right way it won't dispense evenly across the face so if you go to sephora um website this has like horrible horrible reviews because everybody's like it, it just fall off like I can't lie when you just scoop it up and you think you're gonna just put it on your face it is gonna just fall off in clumps but when you warm it up with your fingertips y'all she's gonna give you a glow and when you w wipe it off you know how with most products once you wipe it off the hydration is gone with it y'all when you wipe this off your skin is literally just like butter so any days that um super dry i'm going for the kills avocado nourishing hydration mask or i will go for my cucumber gel mask by peter thomas roth so i'm kind of switching between kills and peter thomas roth my two brands that i'm like obsessed with they're affordable and they the results with these products are amazing so with this anytime i get like a chemical pill or i'm out at the beach or the pool when i'm in like direct sunlight all day and my skin is just like she need a break i'll go for her she just cools the skin down and just soothes, soothes everything when i go on vacation to like tropical places i always take this with me she helps me out now i told y'all that i have hyperpigmentation around my mouth and i just couldn't find nothing that worked for me to just like help brighten it or just i know it's not gonna just fully go away but just to like minimize it or so it doesn't like show through my makeup or just look so dull um, I saw a couple black girls raving on black Twitter about the Kiehl's turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. Y'all, she is that girl. I believe I paid $45 or $50 for this size and this is 3.4 fluid ounces. Oh my God. Some, t some days I multi-mask and this one I'll just put around my mouth. I will put the avocado everywhere else like depends on what my skin need i multi-mask but this i always target around my mouth and y'all when i take it off when i tell y'all this stuff is amazing like around my mouth like right now it ever since i've been using this the hyperpigmentation around my mouth has gotten so light that i'm like why haven't i been purchased this so if you are a woman of color and you're having but you know turmeric turmeric is something that's really good with like pigment hyperpigmentation and brightening and lightening the skin i see a lot of people on youtube putting it under their arms for like hyperpigmentation but if you're a woman of color and you're looking for something to help you with your dark spots and stuff try this give it a try go to well i wouldn't say go to sephora to get a sample because when i tried the sample with certain products a sample is not going to help you you have to continue to try it i first purchased this right before quarantine happened i purchased this in march and i've been using it ever since and i can honestly say i see amazing results so on the days where i need a little boost of energy and i just want that glowy bright skin she's always my go-to next i have another mask that i'm going to show you guys she i this is the kills rare earth deep pore cleansing mask now i had to do like a little which one do i like most don't get me wrong this mask uh, how could i say it 
you know how when you put on a mask and you can feel it tingling she's really good at that she be tingling but i just still don't know if she works for me now this peter time is rock mask as soon as i take it off i know that she did the job so if i had to recommend you getting a mask that would just deeply cleanse your skin without no question i would definitely say go for the peter thomas roth mask however this mask is more expensive than the kills rare earth mask this mask retails for 35 dollars if you get this in a larger size it's going to be 60 dollars however i feel like this mask here y'all you cannot go wrong with this mask so if you're looking for a mask that would just deeply cleanse your pores and minimize the pores definitely go for this one however this is okay if you're on a budget and you want to still buy a mask that will work next mask i don't feel like i used it enough to really say it works i just use it because i want to feel luxurious and be fabulous and it's the peter thomas rock 24 karat gold mask i only purchased this because i saw all the hype about it on instagram I don't know if this works so i'm not going to sit here and tell y'all tell y'all to go buy it because i don't know if it worked however it is a fabulous mask when you put it on you just feel luxurious and fabulous so we're going to just skip right over her if y'all use this mask and y'all saying like it's really good please comment down below and let me know that i have literally literally gold on my hand and i'm just not using it so let your girl know down below if i need to start using this okay so i hope i'm not going too fast those were all of the face masks that I use weekly. I change them out. So now after I do a face mask and I wash that off, the next thing I'm going to do is go into my toner. Toner that I've been using, I had two tones. I would use Witch Hazel, but when I went to get a facial, she told me to stop using Witch Hazel because Witch Hazel can dry out the skin. So I started using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. Now this, y'all, is like gold in a bottle this literally changed the whole texture of my skin it just gave my skin like this airbrush glow like literally airbrush i was like how could i say this i didn't i don't have bad skin but i do sometimes have a little texture in the t-zone which i don't like this stuff is amazing and when i pair it with my moisturizer it just like took my skin to a whole nother level first of all it, it keeps my skin so hydrated and also it just like give you it just changed the whole texture of your skin it just makes everything smooth super soft and just so pretty so if you're looking for and it's like 17 dollars so I don't say that's kind of affordable i purchased this from either Saks or i'll get it from sephora um with this yeah it, and it's for all skin types also so if you have oily skin if you have dry skin it go, goes with everybody it, this is a gentle toner to prepare and hydrate to comfort skin and this stuff it does just that now, after i tone my skin i usually go in with a face spray now, the face spray that i'm currently loving and obsessing over i know i'm about to say it wrong it's the mario badesky but mario his face spray um y'all i have all three of them the rose water the cucumber and the lavender sprays i love them all my favorite one is definitely the lavender because y'all know how i feel about lavender but yes once i tone the skin the next thing i'm going into is with my face spray and this is before i moisturize so, with these face sprays i love the fact that whether you have on makeup or you you bare face that day throughout the day you can use these um face sprays to just like refresh the skin and it gives you like this instant glow and hydration so not only do i use them at night when i'm like prepping my skin and like cleansing my skin but i use them throughout the day i have yeah all three of them the one that i carry the most throughout the day like in the summertime would be the rose water because i feel like the hydration that it gives to my skin throughout the day whether i have on makeup or not is just like amazing now the next step is probably the most important step whether you do any of these things the most important thing your skin could ever get is hydration so you need like a bomb moisturizer so by me being a black girl with hyperpigmentation y'all it is very important to get a face moisturizer that has spf in it so i use two um different moisturizers the moisturizer that i'm currently using is the kills ultra facial cream and the neutrogena visibly even now first of all 
I've always had problems finding a moisturizer that does not leave me oily. When I walk outside, they don't make me sweat or by me always wanting a moisturizer with SPF, they don't have this white overcast look on my face. Y'all, these two moisturizers are no joke. First of all, this moisturizer is gonna keep you super hydrated. And what I like about this, when you walk outside, it's literally pulling moisture from the air. So it's like your skin is always have this dewy, moisturized feeling. I never get dry with this moisturizer. Mm -hmm. I've never had any problems with it. And what I love about it, it is so lightweight and it absorbs so easy. It doesn't leave this oily, sticky feeling on my face. It just simply absorbed. Now this moisturizer, they have the option to have SPF in it, but I didn't get that one because the Neutrogena Visibly Even, even y'all, this is my baby. What I love about this, if you're a black girl, like I said, with hyperpigmentation, she's gonna be your best friend. If you have dark spots on your face, y'all use this consistently every day for two weeks and watch what they do. I had, let's say, I popped a pimple. It was like this dark spot on my forehead. Constantly put this stuff on it, gone. Anytime I have a dark spot on my face and I use this, this is like crack. So I constantly pay for this. Now, this one, I actually just re-upped on this one. I know it's kind of expensive. This $60, but it lasts me six months. The Neutrogena is $11 and it lasts me a longer time than that because with both of these, a little goes a long way. Ugh. I hope I wasn't going super, super fast because y'all, all of these products are products that I can genuinely tell you guys that they work. I have been looking for things that work with my skin forever because like I said, I keep saying by me being a darker skinned woman, I do have hyperpigmentation and it's so easy for me to get like super dry or something that would irritate my skin and possibly make my hyperpigmentation worse. And all of these products has literally improved my skin and made them amazing. I also usually use gold um, eye mask, but I don't have any right now. I'm currently ordering some, so they wasn't here in time to do this video, sadly. But yes, I got so many questions in my DMs about my skin and what I'm using. Cause let me tell you something, y'all could put on all the makeup you want. Take whatever is under that makeup, that is what you wanna take care of. Because like even right now, Y'all, I have little to no foundation on. Like, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but hold on. Oh. Like, if you see right here, the shininess that you guys see is literally my skin. I don't like to put too much powder on my face because I like the dewy, glowy look so my skin can like shine through. I don't like the cake face. It's just not for me, but Yes, I take care of my skin like nobody's business. So if you cannot afford um, going get a face shoe a lot or y'all invest in these products, y'all, they work. Yeah, that's pretty much all the products for skincare that I'm currently using. I don't plan on changing out anything, but if you guys have any suggestions of things that I should be using, please comment down below and let me know. Or if you have any questions that I probably didn't answer because I'm talking kind of fast, comment down below and I would definitely get to your comment and answer it. So do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and come back each week for new videos.